welcome to Over the Mooney. My name is Katie and today we are going to be opening up this month's Bippity Boppity box. I am so excited because this box is just adorable. I did get some holiday packing. It looks kind of glittery and shimmery and I love it. If you did miss my last month's box, that was just the box that was just flat out like all Christmas stuff. So I would definitely encourage you to go check out that box because it was amazing. If you still need a little bit of extra holiday cheer to tide you over, that is the place to find it. This box, I'm not too sure if it's going to be very holiday themed or what, or if I just got a Christmassy box because of course they do one time Christmas boxes that you can get that probably came in a box like this. Interestingly enough, mine is a little bit poofy up here. The only thing that I can really think of that I requested specifically was I would love to get some snacks from the parks for the holidays. And since I requested that, I've actually accumulated quite a few snacks. So if that doesn't end up happening, I won't be terribly disappointed. But if it does, I'll be pretty happy. So it's a win-win either way, honestly, but let's just talk about this box for a second. How cute is this box? We have a Jingle Bell, we have a Mickey-shaped donut, we have some gumdrops, we have a candy cane, we have a Mickey peppermint, some sort of like ice cream thing because it's kind of dripping, so maybe ice cream, little magic wand, some sort of fancy hot chocolate. Like we have all sorts of super, super cute, festive Disney things going on in this box, which I love. This box is the Ultimate Magic Box, which is $120 a month plus shipping. I'm going to go ahead and cut into this box so that we can open it and see what's inside. Oh, so we have some serious confetti happening here, but I am obsessed with this. I love this so much. So we got this little postcard and it says, outside the snow is falling and friends are calling. Ooh, I love the Wandering Oaken so much. He might be one of my favorite Frozen characters, like not even being facetious or lying. I love him so much. And this is just perfect. This is 100% a keeper. This is something I will be framing and will definitely be going out next year for the holidays. I just think that this is absolutely adorable and yay for Wandering Oaken merchandise because you don't see it anywhere. And then of course we have a no peeking spoiler alert sheet. This is our packing slip and it is Donald who is all tangled up in Christmas lights. <sighs> Haven't we all been there? I am seeing something plushy. I don't know what it is, but this is what we're looking at right now. Um, I'm seeing something plushy, I'm seeing a red box, and I'm seeing something sparkly. So, I don't know what we have going on in here, but I'm thinking I'm gonna love it. Oh my. So many good things. First thing I am seeing is a pin, which is exciting. And it is a, tw oh, interesting. Huh. This is an anniversary that kind of snuck up on me, isn't it? So it is the 20th anniversary of Fantasia 2000, which makes complete sense because Fantasia 2000 came out in 2000 and it is 2020. So I have this gorgeous pin that is reminiscent of a bunch of the different pieces from Fantasia 2000 for its 20th anniversary. So we have the Nutcracker, we have the Flamingo, we have the Whale, we have Donald, and then of course we have Sorcerer Mickey in the middle. So the only time that I have seen Fantasia 2000 was when I went to go see it in school. I remember we took a field trip for either band or for chorus and we went to go see this. I don't really remember it, but I was listening to a podcast that I really like called Disorder where they go through all of the different Disney films in order and they talk about them. And so they talked about Dis or Fantasia 2000 and I was like, I really need to go back and watch this. Once Disney Plus comes out, I need to rewatch this. I haven't yet because I haven't really had time to sit down and go back through films that I want to watch, but this is on that list, so I'm very excited to get to go ahead and watch it. And this is a limited edition pin. It is an Ellie of 3000, so I, I think that I might have no pins on my preferences. But I'm not mad about it because I'm incredibly selective about the pins that I do want and this falls into that because I'm just obsessed with Sorcerer Mickey. I love the original Fantasia so much so 
this is completely fine to kind of buck against that. They know me well enough to know when it's like okay to bend the rules a little bit. So this is beautiful. This is really, really pretty and I love the colors. So let me give you guys a close up look. Then I'm seeing ears, which I am super jazzed about because I think that this collection is really pretty and it is the new bronze collection. I actually saw they have they actually carry this collection in the Disney store at least my Disney store and I walked in the door and I saw this and I was like oh my goodness this is such a pretty color combo I love how dark it is because mostly yours are very very light but it's kind of like I don't know I just love the contrast between the two colors it's dark but it's really pretty and it's very very classy so I'm gonna cut the tags off of this because I have to wear them of course for the rest of this video so let's get these switched out get these guys on here oh they're so pretty I love how the black sequins look too when I was down in the parks last I had to buy the classic like red and black sequin bows or sequin ears because I just adored how the black sequins look when they catch the light. I just think they're so pretty and I really like this color combination a whole whole lot so yay! So I am seeing a plush like I said but unfortunately it is a plush that I already own. Not that they would know that which is completely fine and it completely fits my preferences because this is a character that I absolutely adore and it is a style of plush that I'm just completely obsessed with and it is the Big Feet Marie plush and I just think she's so stinking cute. I love her. I do have a couple Big Feet plush so I have Marie, I have Eeyore, I have Lotso. I think that that's it. I think those are all the Big Feet plush that I have. Um, but I did get Lotso in a previous Bippity Boppity box, so they know that I love the Big Feet plush, and Marie definitely fits into my preferences. But yeah, unfortunately, I do already have her somewhere in <laughs> in my attic, but she's super, super precious, and I'm sure that I won't have too much of a problem trying to find a new home for her in the world. And of course, ask and you shall receive. I got a Rice Krispie Treat! And this is such a really a pretty Rice Krispie Treat because it is a stocking. Then on the top there's like this edible glitter that's really pretty so I'm very very excited. And this is good until March which is even better <laughs> because this is the third Rice Krispie Treat that I got this holiday season from the parks. So I definitely don't need to be eating them all at one time or even in close succession. So I will be holding on to this and it can just be a nice little treat. And then the last thing that I got is a gym shore. It was facing up so I do know what it is and I'm very very excited to see it out of the box. I don't have a ton of gym shore figurines. I'm just trying to <laughs> be mindful of things that I start a collection of because I tend to get very into my collections and then it gets very overwhelming. Hello, all of this behind me. So I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful of what I'm collecting. Oh, she's really pretty. She's big. Oh, how pretty. Okay, so we got this really lovely Ariel. Oh, she's really, really pretty. So she's in her pink dress, which I love and I feel like her pink dress does not get nearly enough love. She has her dingle hopper and she is combing her hair and the details on just like the front part of her are just perfection. I love even like the waves going around the bottom of her are so pretty. Her face looks beautiful. Oh, this is really nice. And this is called Curious Collector. So I actually probably fit her back on my Little Mermaid shelf that I have going on back there, which is perfect. I actually just had to move some stuff off of that shelf because I made an Ursula shelf over here. <laughs> I got the 10 inch Ursula Funko Pop for Christmas. So I figured that I could probably do just like an entire shelf of Ursula. And then I got the second Maleficent Dragon where she's actually like breathing fire. That's a hot top, or I'm sorry, a box lunch exclusive. So this is pretty much like all Maleficent and Dr. Facilier because he just didn't have anywhere else to go. But let's see, I think she might fit. Yeah, perfect. She fits right in there and Ariel was like my jam 
She was one of my very, very favorite princesses when I was growing up because she was the only princess who had blue eyes. And I have blue eyes, so I was very happy to see someone have blue eyes. All of the princesses have brown eyes, and I was like, no, we need someone with blue. So I'm going to grab my packing slip, and we will see what we are looking at for value. All right, so Disney Parks Rice Krispie Treat is $5.99. The Disney Traditions Jim Shore Ariel Pink Dress Curious Collector is $50. The Disney Parks Exclusive Marie Big Feet Plush is $26.99. The Disney Parks Exclusive Sequin Mini Ears Headband Bell of the Ball Bronze is $29.99. Ear prices are bonkers. And the Disney Parks exclusive limited edition trading pin Fantasia 20th anniversary is $17.99 for a grand total of $130.96. So for me, this box was okay. Um, I did get my treat, which I did ask for. Yay for that. I love these ears. And I think I even mentioned like maybe on one of their photos that they posted on Instagram or on their, one of their stories that I really loved this collection. So they listened and they realized that I liked this collection, so I'm happy to have these ears. Which I'm sure I'm iffy on. I do really like Ariel and her pink dress and that's perfect for my collection. I'm just still not, like I like Jim Shore, but I'm not 100% sold on those statues. They're just not really 100% my aesthetic. So I'm not sure about that. I might actually update my preferences to say no Jim Shore, <laughs> which I feel like I'm just making it a little bit more challenging to have the ultimate magic box because you know I say no lounge fly I say no Jim Shore I say you know all these big ticket items that I'm used to or that they're used to giving out in their ultimate magic boxes I'm like yeah no I don't really want those but I will say I loved my Miss Mindy figure from last year or I'm sorry for my last box so I might say you know I'm cool with getting Miss Mindy figures but I would just rather get those over Jim Shore and then unfortunately I did already have that plush which they didn't know that I owned which is completely fine it fits my preferences otherwise I really loved my last box so much the Christmas box that I got so it was gonna be tough to top that one admittedly let me know what you guys thought of this box let me know what your favorite item was if you had one and I think that that is everything that I have for you. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button down below so that all of my new videos pop up in your subscription feed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.